We've come to the end of an absolutely amazing trip here in Yemen, and I'm really sad that it's time to go. But with us leaving here, we can go see what it's like to explore the Seyun Airport and what we can expect from Yemenia Airways, or at least what my experience with them is going to be. Since Seyun only has a couple flights a day or per week, actually, I'm not expecting there to be too much, but if you do have to come in and out of Seyun, here's what you can expect to do. If you want fuel, you're going to have to get up at 3 a.m. to get it. So here they actually swept our car with a mirror to make sure we didn't have any bombs underneath. That's a, that was a first on this trip. Yep, this airport is not big at all. You were such a wonderful driver. Thank you very much. And yes. See you two again next time. We'll make sure we talk about it. Two thousand. This is the extent of the shop here. There's not much to do in Seyun. This was one of the less pleasant airport experiences I've had. They, uh, just a warning, if you do go, they took me behind uh, closed doors and they checked everything. They squeezed everything and made sure I didn't have it, not once, but twice. Then they went through every last nook and cranny of my bags. And then after looking at them, then they insisted on putting them through the x-ray machines and then taking everything out again and checking them again. So you're going to want to allow yourself a lot of extra time to get through security clearances at this airport. And then as I showed you very briefly, because they wouldn't let me go buy anything, they insisted I go through the security clearance to get into the terminal here which is just a room that has a women's section only, by the way, that you have to sit in. Um, yep, so they have just a free area where you can buy just like snacks, candy bars, crackers, nothing really exciting. The other fun thing about this is that um, the airline can kind of pick and choose the time that you are allowed to leave and take off. Our flight was supposed to leave at uh, 8.30, but instead now it's leaving at 7.15. So you have to allow extra time to make sure that your flight is not going to take off without you. And because I can't read Arabic and I don't have internet access here, the Wi-Fi at the hotel is terrible. Um, I wouldn't have known that if my tour company was able to let me know this. So with that, let's sit here and hope that the uh, actual flight goes better than the airport experience here is. And I hope this is wrong, but it looks like they have me sitting in the smoking section. This is precisely all there is to do here. That's it. Not a whole lot. What wandered over here. This might date me a little bit for when I posted this, but uh, I just got a text that um, the Queen of England passed away a few days ago. There's no internet here to speak of. The Wi-Fi is basically non-existent at the hotels I've been to, but. Uh, Wow, I am so sorry to hear that. Condolences to the royal family. First time taking Yemenia. What an absolutely gorgeous morning to fly in this beautiful valley. Easily. It does feel really cramped in here. Does my back. And the safety instructions. Let's check this out and see if there's any English in here. From this side there is. You heard it first. Coffee is originally from Yemen. We've made it on the plane. <laughs> Hard to believe my time in Yemen is coming to a close. And what is up with my cart? My goodness. Aside from the flight attendant, probably the only 
I am the only female here who does not have her head covered. I gave my abaya to Jamal to give to his niece. I don't really have a use for it anymore and it was comfortable and it looked Iranian and I think she liked that so I hope she enjoys it. Our original flight time was supposed to be 8.30 this morning but now we're taking up at 6.41 a.m. about here. I've never had an airline leave two hours early. There's a dog on the runway. Oops. They got the food service going quickly. Almost the exact same breakfast I've been having for the last week. <laughs> That's funny. And of course, it wouldn't be complete without some bread. The food was actually really good. I gotta say, for this budget-style airlines, their service was good. I'd fly Yemeni Airways again. As I sat down and looked at the desert, I reflected on my time here. I remember being so nervous when first crossing the border, and how within minutes of meeting my fixer, I felt quite at ease. Now as I leave, I'd actually consider returning someday to see other parts of this beautiful place. If you do choose to go to Yemen, I encourage you to do your own research and make sure that it will be a good fit for your travel goals. I doubt you'll be disappointed. I've made it to Cairo, which officially concludes my Yemen adventure. Thanks so much for joining me, and I'll see you in my next adventure.